Welcome, you people that always wanted a Soldano, but were too cheap to fork over the over 4,000 bucks to buy one. That also describes me, but of course I have a relationship with the company. I do have a Hot Rod 50 that I did buy, but this, of course, I got for my work with the company. So I'm one of you, but I do have a Soldano and I shan't give it up, especially because this is a special one. So why are we talking about Soldanos and why do we have this elaborate setup here? By the way, uh, there's a Z-Rec module here that has nothing to do with this video, but if you have a synergy system, please check out the Z-Rec module for God's sake, it's just so good. It really is. It, amazing. So, the SLO module is here, and it is the SLO2, slow 2. It was about time. Why? Well, because the SLO module came out when the synergy system was first introduced years ago. I did a whole series on all of those uh, modules when they first came out. But in the beginning, they were simpler. They had gain, shared EQ for both channels, and the channels usually were kind of voiced exactly the same. They were with different setups. So you could have lower gain and higher gain, more or less volume, but the two channels were sharing in EQ and there was less flexibility. Now with the Bogner modules and the Zerec and the Dietzel and all those new modules that came out, the BB, BBD, BD, 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 all those modules, uh, they saw that it makes sense to update the SLO module, which is super popular. I even heard, was it Opeth? that used it for their clean sounds, which doesn't really make an awful lot of sense to me because there's really amazing uh, modules for the Synergy system and the SLO would be the last I would use for lower gain sounds, but apparently that's what they did. Now we have, if you look at it, of course, two gains again, but we have, sh uh, not shared, we have completely independent bass metal treble, full EQs for both, and then of course the masters as always. And we also have these switches, so each of them can be normal or overdrive, okay? And there's also a, a tight and normal switch. So you can tighten it up a tiny bit in the base. I think that's kind of what it does. Kind of like almost as if you're putting a tube screamer in front of your amp, which is, the, the Soldano is a very thick, very low end amp. So you do wanna tighten that up for faster passages. And normal and overdrive, of course, is channel. So you could have two overdrive channels. You could have two normal channels. Now, warning, this is not going to get you the normal channel of the actual amp, which is why we have it here to compare. The Synergy system has so many amazing clean modules that it doesn't make sense to take the SLO2 module and move it into the clean. Soldano isn't known for their ridiculous cleans. Yes, the amp has great cleans, but when it comes to Synergy, get a Z-Rec, get a BEBB. I mean, get many others, get the OD, you know, there's other modules for that. This is for the drive, which means you can take it all the way down, but I mean, why would you? This already starts at kind of a bit cranked. Now, obviously you wanna know how close does it get to the real thing? which is why we have the real thing right here. That's a 100 watt SLO 100. Uh, this is a 50 watt amp, both of them sporting 6L6s. So, but just because of the 100 wattage kind of itness and of the 50 wattage kind of itness, it'll be different. Also really the big, the, the real thing, the big thing, the big kahuna, the real deal. It is thick, it's massive. It has those very, unique transformers that are made by Ferry somewhere in some factory, I don't know. They're very, very hard to get and expensive. Honestly, a Soldano town with a cap in front of you can only be achieved with a Soldano. There are many things that can get you very close. A profile of a Soldano will get you in the general vicinity. A slow two in a SIN 50 will get you very close. Absolutely. Will it get you this very close, but not 100%? Because why in the world would they offer you a $399 slash Euro module in this head, which is either 1500, 1600, whatever, then they would never sell this. 
I'm not saying they deliberately make this not close. It's just not possible. The stuff in here, there are the minute differences that still make it desirable. We're going to check it out, of course, against each other. I have it wired into my Ampeat 88S Studio and I can switch between the two heads. I just now played around a little bit. Maybe we're going to start with that sound and compare to uh, show you. I mean, the settings cannot be exactly the same when it comes to treble. It's a little bit different. The low end. I mean, what I feel in the room, maybe you don't even get this through the mics. Let's hear it in a track. Let's do that. <laughs> So, the setup. We've got some pedals on the floor. Don't know how relevant that is. It's got all the gain in the world. Why in the world would we add a Tube Screamer? We don't even need this for tightness. And what you add a clone, I don't know. I, I wouldn't. This got all the gain you want, and you want that gain. I don't think you need to push that with anything. Um, in the effects loop of the Sin 50, I have a TC Electronic 2290p. I don't have anything in here because I'm lazy. Yeah, set all this up, and I'm still lazy. And we're playing it, you have to know this, that's very special, with a Friedman Metro D. This thing's ugly. Puke Peach. But it's a very, very cool guitar, of course, open geared locking tuners. It's beat to shit, Dave likes his guitars like that. The very special thing about this guitar is it does not have the most oomph and low end and fullness. It's nice and lean in the bottom end, and it rocks the shit out of any amp. So, uh, it's already kind of a tight guitar, just to let you know. We're going to start with the setting that I have in the module right now. We don't have to go to both channels. They're uh, the same. So, it is okay to just check out one, and the other one can be set up exactly the same. So, we're on the normal now, not on overdrive. And you can see we're at 9 o'clock. <laughs> Of course, we have a Synergy 212 cap with vintage 30s, mic'd with an SM57 and a Roya R10 ribbon, as you do with guitar caps. So, at 9 o'clock, on normal, which should be clean, this is, I mean, not really, because when you look at the actual amp, normal can be clean and crunch. So, see it as normal, but it's actually already on crunch. That's what's happening. <laughs> We're going to switch to the amp.
flavor is there. It's all in the same direction. The mid behavior is slightly different. I find the actual SO clearer, more cleaned up. Whereas this is a bit, tiny bit denser. We're talking about the tiniest 2% of the tone and probably doable with some fine tweaking. <laughs> Yeah, it's extremely close now. The difference is still, this has all that, which I feel in the room. It's got mass, it's got weight, it's got size, which honestly, nothing else that I've ever played has. I don't think this can do it. I don't think anything can do it except for this. <laughs> Yeah, there's a tiny bit missing. So I'm gonna go full on density. Nope, nope. Density would be like a low end. Let's get the bass up here. Crack the shit out of the bass and you're getting... Who would have thought? Okay, no, okay. Might be wrong about this. Let's leave it there. I mean, I would never do that, but okay. It's just fun. Now we're in Marshall territory. On each note, it now has that thump. On normal, the gain goes further farther on the SLO. This is all the way where it can't go anymore. And this is at three o'clock on normal and we've got more gain. <laughs> Let's make it tight. It feels like there's a tiny bit of a, a mid hump and the tiniest bit of maybe less bass, but obviously we're cranking up the bass here. It's a subtle switch, but of course, if you're playing the metal, this will matter. Killer sound, killer sound. Just 95% of the sameness. I'm gonna go to overdrive here. We're gonna go to overdrive here and crank the gain back. Crank it back, crank the gain down.
extremely close now. Pretty uh, impressive. So let's crank up the gain here. I have a feeling that this thing has more gain than the actual Soldano. <laughs> Sounds weak. <laughs> what the? And we're done with weak. No, I like that more. What the? Qu what the? I mean, one percent, but I mean. This has more gain. I mean, I could push this with anything and get the gain, of course. But yeah, they are extremely close now. And with a little bit, 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 bit of fiddling, you can get them. Of course, if you have this, you probably don't have an SLO, because why would you buy this if you have an SLO? So you don't know how to fiddle. Um, just let me tell you, you're gonna be extremely happy with the SLO do. Holy shit balls. Um, and you would, of course, be very happy with an SLO amp. Let's put some delay on it in the effects loop and see if it can lead. If you always wanted an SLO and you have a synergy system, I can't even tell you that it's close but not quite what I said in the beginning, because it is. It even gets you a bit more gain. Um, it's got the tight switch, which this doesn't have. This has a bright switch, which this doesn't have. I mean, it's also much bigger than this. Yeah, we've done that video, if you remember. But um, it's close enough to make you freaking happy, to not break the bank, not have your wife kill you, and damn is it, <laughs> holy crap, this turns this thing into, in, I mean, into as close to this as anything in the world possibly can. Um, that's, that's very impressive. Did I want to do anything else? Let me think. Did this, we fiddled with the EQ a bit. We're not com gonna compare channel one and two because they are the same as always. 
Do I need to push this with a tube screamer? No, no, you wouldn't. Um, this has more gain than this. It's a little bit, but maybe that's relevant. Holy crap, hola. Leads, rhythm, pa pow. Uh, crunch sounds that are just very defined and that have that. It, it, if you want to get to this, crank up the bass and you're freaking there. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. This has a special mode that no other SLO has, which is the middle switch, which only mine has. And that was built for Nuno back in the day. And this was actually Nuno's amp. And that has like a mid push or something. Let's, let's find out. Maybe, it, maybe the other one can do that. <laughs> Slightly different in the mid, slightly different. But yeah, push up the mids, crank it. If you have Synergy, you don't have the SLO module, even if you have the SLO module, this is, this is an evolution of it that's absolutely worth it. If you always wanted this and you have Synergy, I'm gonna say, hell yeah! Yeah, they're paying me for this video, but the fun can't be had because of the money. I mean, technically, in a different way. But um, you heard the sounds, you saw the smiles. I had fun. Thank you for commissioning this video. I love you guys from Boutique Arms Distribution. They know what they're doing. Quality is number one. I could tell you stories that I'm not allowed to tell you where um, these guys hunt down quality, whether it's a knob, whether it's a scratchy pot, whatever anyone finds, they're like, no, no, this will not go out like this. We want perfection and only perfection will do, period. Uh, I love them for that can also be quite annoying, but they are hunting down perfection. They want the best in the industry and they are among the best in the industry. And I love them for that. So I put links below. Thank you for watching. Please use them. That helps and animals at the end.